we are looking at flowcharts, but in particular, we're going to be looking at repetition. Yesterday we looked at selection. And we said with selection, you go down a pathway. You go down a pathway and then at some point you have to either go in one direction or you have to go in another direction. And that depends on a condition. That depends on a condition that is either true or false. So that is what selection was. In today's lesson, we're going to execute some statements, so we're going to go in a similar way. Right, we're going to execute some statements and then we are going to loop. We are going to loop. And we're going to come back. So here you'll see that there is a loop. A loop means rep repetition. And after the loop finishes, we're then going to continue. Remember that we cannot be stuck in the loop. Because if you are stuck in the loop, then you're going to be having infinite. Infinite means it doesn't come to an end. You're going to have infinite repetition. So in today's lesson, you are looking at something like this, where we're in a loop and there's going to be repetition taking place. So that's what I want you to take note of. Repetition. This means that statements are now repeated based on a condition. I just showed you how it's based on a condition. We're going to have two types of repetition, fixed and conditional repetition. Fixed, as the name suggests, it will repeat a fixed number of times. In other words, it will repeat 10 times. It will repeat three times. It will repeat five times. Conditional repetition. You don't know how many times it's going to repeat. It just depends on when the condition fails. So that's conditional repetition. Maybe I can give you a practical example. If you walk from wherever you are currently sitting now, and if you walk five steps, or, or if you want to walk to the wall, let's, just, let's assume there's a wall somewhere either in front of you, behind you, or side of you. There's a wall. And if you want to get to the wall, and let's assume that it takes you 10 steps to get to the wall. Every time you take 10 steps in the direction of the wall, you will get to the end, to the beginning of the wall. So that's always going to take 10 steps. So that's fixed repetition. That's fixed repetition. Take 10 steps, keep repeating the steps 10 times, and you will get to the wall. Conditional repetition. Let's assume you are baking a cake. While baking a cake, you need to mix the flour, the milk, and the butter. So you, with the sugar, and you're mixing everything together until you've got the right consistency. So the mixing is your repetition, but how many times do you repeat the mixing process? Once? twice, 50 times, you don't know that. The only time you know you need to stop is when you look at it and as you're mixing, you can see, well, it's all mixed up properly. It's smooth. It's got a good consistency. Now I stop. So you, you cannot state how many times that repetition takes place. It's based on a particular condition, the consistency, of the batter of the cake that you are making, 
the consistency of that will tell me now it is time to stop. But with fixed repetition, I know I needed to take 10 steps to get to a certain point that's fixed. And the other one is conditional. 